Hi, everybody. I've been working on some background tedium, by which I mean dipping a whole bunch of gravel. And I've been getting a fair amount of metals out of it. More than I can carry. Looks like my next expansion of the platform is going to need to be a place to do hammering and sieving. But I think before that, I want to work on a transfer node to pick up this cobblestone for me. But before I can even do the transfer nodes, I'm going to need redstone, which is going to mean sieving a lot of sand. So yeah, looks like the priority is going to be expanding the platform. Then we can work on automating the cobble gen and anything else we can think of. So one of the things I had to remind myself of was the fact that I don't actually have to pick up this cobble with a pickaxe if what I'm really after is gravel. can just go straight after it with the hammer. I think it will automatically connect, but it still has to have this in here. And cobble. Very nice. And I would also like to automate my lava generation. Like that. This clunky old thing isn't actually going to last very long. But it is going to last long enough to generate a few more stacks of cobble. After which, I will start on my next step. You see, even though having these diamond tools such as the Diamond Builder's Wand and the Diamond Hammer, are wonderful time savers. I think that it's about time that I started getting machines to do these jobs for me.
which I plan to do as soon as I get the proper materials up. Right now I'm holding out for some more lead so I can make flux ducts. And I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but it seems that lead is more rare than aluminum, gold, or even platinum. Which just strikes me as odd. So, I've got a couple of machines built that will let me get started anyway. We'll start by pulling out some liquid and putting it into this lava generator. Which probably will not receive the lava as quickly as it consumes it. But I will work later on increasing the lava output. Right now, I want some Invar. And Invar. And now I can use that to make an automatic strainer, or automatic sieve. And automatic hammers can be made with just iron. So really, I'm going to have to make more crucibles, that's all there is to it. So that being the case, we're just going to move this whole cobble thing over and have it set up where we can expand it a bit. Starting with... Starting with stopping this. So, it does look as if I'm going to have to make a lot more liquid transfer nodes. But that shouldn't be too much trouble. Just a little bit time consuming is all. Should you be flowing in both directions? All right, excellent. I need one more. All right. Soon I will have more lava than I know what to do with. And then I'll have to figure out something to do with all that. But first, transfer nodes. So I just realized I don't have to mess around with liquid transfer nodes. Because we've got Ender IO. And I can make conduits. And conduits are pretty cheap. Once you've got alloys to make them with.
Okay, so we've got things going pretty nicely. We've got our lava generator generating power for an auto hammer, automatic sieve, and cranking out the broken ores. Only problem right now is that the lava generator is not actually generating quite enough power. But I'm pretty sure that I have enough lava coming out to run two of them. So that'll take about two seconds to fix. As soon as I find another one of those pipe thingies. At any rate, I do want to do a lot more expanding of the system. But I think I want to wait until I do some relocating. It's about time I started on my first construction project in this world. So next episode, we're going to start on the circle. No, wait, the break. Actually, the halo. That's what we're going to go. We're going to call it the halo. So stay tuned. Come back next episode and watch me build the halo. Until then, have some fun, build something cool, and have a nice day.